Well, in looking at whether one would prefer investing in a developed or a developing country, uh, obviously there's a lot of variables, and I've had experience in both. I guess my general comment, <coughs> comment would be that for our industry, the challenges are everywhere, and that uh, you can't, I don't think you can just say that one is better than the other or one is easier than the other. They're all difficult. I think we all have preferences. Certainly for Gold Corp, we made a decision early on to stay in North and South America. It was partly for political risk reasons, but it was mo mainly for management bandwidth reasons. Just having our operations in three or four time zones just made life simpler. Uh, but within those time zones, there were some countries we preferred more than others. But my experience has been it's very hard to generalize. It's tough everywhere. And the big concern that investors have about developing countries is what's, will the government ever take steps to take away your ore body? And in my 40 years experience, I've never had to go through that, and I've seen it almost never. So then it comes down, the next level of political risk that you face in all countries is the government changing the rules after you get there. And the easiest rule for them to change is taxation. And I can assure you that governments change the tax rules everywhere. They're equally as unfavorable to mining in the developed world as in the developing world. So I think you have to look at every country and every ore body and every, ore and every opportunity on, on a standalone basis and then decide what level of risks you're willing to take. The other comment I would make about evaluating risk and opportunities is the, the larger the opportunity, the more risk you are willing to put up with. There is no doubt about that. If you found a fantastic opportunity in a country that you were uncomfortable with, most companies would still go ahead and try to develop it. So it's a, it's a standalone basis, analyze each case as it comes, and, uh, and then make your decisions.